Dream Chasers, Kenzie Retro here. So we were a little bit late with uh, getting this uh, reaction done. We're recording this on Monday the 12th, uh, but we had we had a lot of stuff going on over the course of the weekend. That's why we weren't able to get the time put together to get the um, uh, to get uh, to get the reaction recorded. But nevertheless, we're here now. We're a few days late. We've somehow managed to avoid spoilers. But... We're probably not seeing any. Not seen any. I'm so proud. Yeah, you know, like we've managed to avoid spoilers. I mean, I mean, I was in, I was unfortunate enough to come across a couple of memes regarding the episode, but uh, I've not. I've managed to avoid everything. I said, I said there was nothing as far as spoilers is concerned from what I managed, to, from what I ended up stumbling across. Nonetheless, it's episode four. We're in the second half of the season for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <sighs> oh boy! Yeah. Apparently, and I'm apparently, finally in the screen. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Look, but uh, yeah, but apparently, but apparently, this is the this is the episode where business really starts to pick up. Apparently, is it? Apparently, like I'll say, say, I've not heard anything. I've avoided say, everything for this show. I say, take that with take that with a pinch of salt, folks, because uh, neither of us have seen the episode yet. But nevertheless, controllers at the ready. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> Oh, read. You got a recap? Previously, oh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Place, people, shelter, and medicine. I kind of think Greg's loyal to me. He's literally trying everything we can. So we bet on someone who's got better hands. Someone who created the Super Soft Serum. You are still in high guys. I think it's the best. Yeah. Oh, I hate some not working. Right. Yeah. And don't right. worry, folks. I'm stocked up on beverages. Two seconds, sorry. There we go, I'm back. Just pause and play for a second so that way I can catch you up. Two ticks. Okay, go. Calling Morgan Thalen, at least seven of us have taken the serum without a name. What's your name? How many vials did you bring? Just to double check, what's your timestamp at the moment? She called and asked if I could help someone named Donia Madani. She died in Riga. That well, there we go, we go, we're good. Cool. What's your timestamp at the moment? Uh I was I was, I'm just about to hit one minute ten. All right, cool. I'm now at one minute ten. Roughly the same. Roughly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> <laughs> so like I say, folks, I am stocked up on beverages. I am aware the bottles somewhat get uh, green screened out, but that's the joys of clear plastic. <laughs> oh, my God, he's got the gauntlet! He's got the gauntlet! What? <laughs> gauntlet! You know what? It's coming in for the reaction. I'm having it in for the reaction. Uh, meanwhile, thousands of miles away. Here we go. I've got him for the reaction. No, I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> it is time. It is time. Are you sure about this? Oh. It's not Okoye, by, it's not Okoye, by the way. Uh, it's it's a, it's a, it's like, he said not a member. Let's say it's Ale, I think it is. Yes. Yeah, that was an A or that was an A. The last. Oh, oh call back to Civil War. She's doing the mission report. December 16, 1991. Oh, so this, this is supposed to be like a reincarnation kind of type ritual yeah well, I was like, th th this is a callback to civil war oh yeah oh the winter soldier even this isn't even civil war man this is all the way back to 2014 oh yeah so it is that that's why the timestamp said six years ago yeah oh if it's six years ago that would make it 2015 19 because remember, Infinity War... Oh, yeah, so it is, yeah. 2025. I think, was it 2023 or 2025? 2023. 
Oh, right. Because Infinity War was 2018. Five years later, 2023. This must have been just 2017. Before, 2017. This just must have be been just before. Steve just before Ragnarok. Yeah, this must have been just before Steve and that arrived in Wakanda then. Yeah. Or straight after Black Panther. But the after credits, you know, this is taking place at the exact same point. Possibly, yeah. Well, here we go. Here we go. It's kicking Back up. to present day. With time, the new anesthetists, the winter soldier programming was to last for the laboratory. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for everything. You are sure. Hey, my sweet. Name Colin Nam, sure. Choose me to protect you. I understand. Very little. If anything, our loss and our shame. Hmm. Because I know it will connect me to the here and I. Oh. Each hours but worse. And we come for you. Uh-oh. Give me back my balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Well, fingers crossed this does kick it up or not. I'm hoping. That, I'm hoping. that was an intense opening. It was very much like the whole Agatha's Origins. It felt, it felt like that. Similar vein, anyway. Don't sing the song, Fraser. Don't sing the song. Don't sing the song. Don't, don't sing the song. Sing it, don't. Yeah. it was Winter Soldier all along. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> what? Well, well, I stopped me doing that. Now. <laughs> that, that was. I'll take. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably bombed at your RC supply depot. What? What's the damage? Well, I've injured three dead. They have listed demands and are promising more attacks if those demands aren't met in full. She's getting worse. Cliche terrorist group with demands. Seen that show up a hundred times before. Just Seen that done with like Broken Arrow, Alan Rickman, and Die Hard. <laughs> like, yep. Multiple times. Yeah. It's like, it's like it's like, every Steven Seagal film. Yeah. Every single yeah, Steven Seagal film. Yeah, exactly. It gets to the point where you see so many of those sort of films. You can, you can just oh, pick yeah. up on those tropes right out of the gate. For instance, horror movie cliche number one, the black guy always dies. Sometimes first. No, not every film. I think there's been pretty, I think there's been a couple where he where survived. Uh, well, there's, there's, there's Get Out, for example. Yeah, true. That was great, by the way. Get Out was awesome. Maybe you're wrong, yeah. but, but like I say, most horror films, the black guy always dies. True. Although it's good that that's changed over the years. That um, is true. Right now, give up your tour guide. Yes. Do not answer. smoke. Discretion <laughs> of the week. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Who was your teacher? <laughs> it's okay. I'm hopefully going to be quitting soon. Couldn't just cross. I'm praying to quit. <laughs> yeah, two weeks today, folks. The gyms should be open again in Scotland. <laughs> Beer gardens are open back up in England, I think. They open. Yeah, today. They, yeah, they were open today. Lucky. <laughs> oh, that's what. That's one of the me That's one of the memes I came across. Turkish delights irresistible. That's one of the memes I came across. Oh. That's not going to end well. Yeah. She must have come to this place. When I was young, we used to come with fabulous dinners and parties. Nothing but politics. Yeah. 
Right, of course. And they remember it being beautiful. I'm going to take a look around upstairs. See what you can find out. Keep an eye. Stay out of the room. <laughs> nice. Oh. I'll be able to say, by the way, you know how when you do uh, your Kingdom of Isolation? Yeah. See, when we do like the reactions to like Hegman and Winter Soldier and Invincible, if we were to do it like Invincible, you should do it as Heroes of Isolation. Hmm. Something the idea for you. We'll chat, we'll chat more it, after this. It, it, is, it is something I might look at as a future project later down the road. Yeah, no, definitely. It's just, it's just, it's just right now. I don't want to give myself too big a workload at the moment, especially with uh, preparing oh, no, for heading back to college after the summer. Yeah, no, definitely. Excuse me. Do you know a woman by the name of Donya Madonna? She was a refugee. We're not refugees. And we have nothing to seek refuge from. We're internationally displaced persons for what it's worth, and we don't trust outsiders. In other words, refugees. Well, I just worded it differently. I'm not from here, but I have a pretty good track record of helping out. I know what happens when people say they're going to help out. Nothing. The Global Repatriation Council promised to send more teachers, supplies. That was six months ago. Well, what's your name? Maybe I can make a call. I know who you are, but I can't trust you. I'm sorry. Hmm. What? Wait, just a minute. How did they get away with using that here? Wait, has that been banned? Yeah, they, they can't use Bar Bar Black Sheep in primary schools anymore. How did they get away with that here? I genuinely didn't know that. This is news to me. Irresistible? Was always my son's favorite. Okay, never mind. Well, it's not really meant in a racial term, so it's not meant. It's not meant as a racist slur, so. Yeah, but you've but you've got these ridiculous. You've got these snowflakes on the internet. That are like, <laughs> nee, 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 nee. Oh yeah, no, no, mm, but like really grinds my gears. Yeah. So beggars believe how they managed to how, how they get how they managed to get that in here somehow. Yeah. Oh come on! Zemo, you absolute snake! You absolute snake! You absolute snake! There was no chance of him ever being a good guy. Of course not, but still, come on! Takes the kids with Turkish delight, and he does that! Yeah. For five years, people have been welcomed into countries that have kept them out using barbed wire. There were houses and jobs. Folks were happy to have people around to help them rebuild. It wasn't just one community coming together, it was the entire world coming together. And then boom, just like that, it goes right back to the way it used to be. To them, at least Carver's doing something. You really think her ends justify her means? Then she's no different than him or anybody else we fought. She's different. She's not motivated by the same things. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Oh, what you tell you? Wow. A few hours this afternoon. You know the door is coming for you any minute. In fact, they're probably lurking outside right now. Keep talking, needing you to turn on me once we get to Carly. I prefer to keep my leverage. Whoa, okay. 
Okay. Was that a call? But I feel like that was a call to wonder because ever there was memes about it where like how she does the head tilt thing. Oh, yeah. well spotted. Well spotted. Yeah. That's why when he said that, I was like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Simple instructions. Just find Carly. I think everybody's just trying to work out who the power broker is. Mm. Just because the power broker hasn't been revealed yet. Maybe the power broker's Mephisto. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> you knew that was coming. I knew it. I had a feeling I was waiting for it. <laughs> at one point or another, this show was going to bring back the festival. Oh, oh, this is going to be a running gag throughout all these Marvel TV shows, folks. Oh, honestly, oh. it's not my pistol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 I genuinely couldn't. Do that, folks. that was too. I'll let you have that one. You could have that one. <laughs> now I'm expecting him to get me back uh, for uh, for Friday's episode. The world's more complicated now. People are lost. They need a leader who looks like them or understands their pain. Someone who understands that today's heroes don't have the luxury to keep their hands clean. No. What we're doing is what I'll live to like see that shit. That shield is a monument to a bygone era. A reminder of all the people history just left off. I think that shield should be destroyed. But how is she going to get the shield? I love how we're four episodes in and we still really don't know much about these characters. Which, if anything, works in their yeah, it works in a favor because it still keeps us guessing. I reckon it'll be the last episode. But oh, here we go. Good. In the dark, you can start by telling us why you broke him out of prison. He did that himself, technically. Oh, this better be an unbelievable explanation. Take it easy before it gets weird. I know where Card is. Well, where? Well, all we know is it's a memorial, so we're going to intercept it there. I mean, civilians, high risk of casualties. I genuinely really like these characters. I genuinely, I really like these characters. Yeah. I know everybody hates him. I, I really like him. Hold on, stop. Okay, I think we're way past reasoning with her. Unless you forgot the fact that she grew up a building with people still in. So you walk in your cold to kill you. And if I go in hot and the goes wrong, more people will die. Are you going to do this? You're gonna let your partner walk into a room with a super soldier alone. He's dealt with worse, and he's not my partner. I used to counsel soldiers <laughs> dealing with problems. Okay, this is right in my wheelhouse. Yeah, I know, and I know those soldiers, which is why I know this is a bad idea. Hey, sir. Wait, he he's up he knows the soldiers. Hmm. Well, yeah, sure. Well, you talking about John Walker? Yeah. Deal with you later. Well, surely if he's, because I don't know if he's been given the serum or not. My associate is just a bad. I'm not too sure if he was given the serum or not. Ooh, solid point. I, I don't really know a lot about John Walker's character in the comics, to be fair. 
um, oh, I know is he eventually becomes a US agent. And, um, he does like, he does, he is a good guy, but did, he's just, nobody likes him as Captain America. Did he not <laughs> just pay that kid 500 euros or whatever? Yeah. Huh. Be enough for either a, a Series X or a PS5. Hey, you got 10 minutes. We're doing things my way. Oh, what the heck, Walker? Well, to be fair, if Walker's just seen Zemo, he's not seen him before, he's going to think, no, like, I do not trust him. So I think that's like a natural response, I guess, for his character, because he's very government official and very government based. So he just goes by with it. Kind of like Tony Stark in Civil War. Ah, yes. Not to that extent, though. Tony Stubbs was... Mm-hmm. He was put into a place he didn't want to be, basically. Whereas he's like, clearly really like, yeah, I'll work with the government. I've got to be here more than you saved me. She closed me. Fed me. Fed me. I've got a feeling like Bucky and Sam are going to try and help them. Because they won't. We know who they are. I've got a feeling the twist is going to be with Zemo. Zemo's going to... It'll come out that he's a bad guy because obviously he's not a good guy. They'll be actually working against Zemo or something like that and then they'll team up with Sam and Bucky. I've got a feeling that's how like the next or last episode's going to play. Hmm. But I reckon they'll be like, yeah, cool, right, we'll team up. So we're recording you. And Sam's definitely going to become Captain America by the end of the series, like the last episode. I mean, I mean th- that, that's a given. That needs to happen. The last shot's going to be him in costume with Bucky, them agreeing to actually work together more on more missions. Yeah. Zemo's going to get locked up again or be killed off. And, um, yeah, like Sam's going to be in the Captain America do, and he's finally going to take up the mantle. Mm-hmm. Whether it be against the government's will, or mm-hmm. who knows, we'll find that out in the last episode, but I reckon he's going to become like the secret Captain America, but the real one. Yeah. I don't know, that's just a theory. Cool, and I, if that happens in the last episode, yeah. To be fair, I did call out the spoilers on Endgame. I called out how Endgame was going to play out like months before it came out. I'm quite, I'm still proud of that. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry for your loss. Don't condescend to me or to Charlie. I condescend. I know what it feels like to lose someone. Believe me. No, you don't. Not like this. Doesn't have to be a war, Carly. They started a war as soon as they kicked us out of our new homes and onto the street. People all around the world need me, millions of them. I can't speak for millions, but I understand you. I understand your frustration. I understand your helplessness. So you want me to stop because people are getting hurt, right? But Sam, what if I'm making the world a better place? It's not a better place if you're killing people. It's just different. The exact same rules that Thanos had. Are you agreeing or just hopelessly optimistic? Well, not the exact same, but very, very similar values. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. This is a bad idea. There hasn't been 10 minutes, Sean, just to tell you. Don't do that. Don't patronize me. He knows what he's doing. No oh no. Please. I want them to, I want them to fight. <gasps> this is all really easy for you, isn't it? Oh, I really want them to fight. Oh Marvel, if you if you pull this off. You if you pull this off, Marvel. Do you really 
everyone has blood on their hands. I've been craving for a fight between the, uh, the Winter Soldier <laughs> and the Winter Soldier. About Super Soldiers and anyone else on the planet. And he says, You're a supremacist. Me? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Everything I do is to end supremacy. These corporations and the beasts who run them, they're the supremacists. So, let me ask you you have more serum, right? So. Are you going to increase your army? To kill an innocent people? They're not innocent. They're robots in my journey and I kill them again first. Wow. But she said Cheryl, robots. Oh, that got dark. I took a dark turn very quickly. A little bit, yeah. The people I'm fighting are trying to take your home, son. Why are you here and so stopping them? And my sister's waiting for that exact same answer. Oh, wow. I'm not your enemy. I agree with your fight. I just can't do it the way you're fighting. I love Sam's character yeah, so much. Really. He's so good. And there is def and there is definitely a reason right now Anthony Mackie is one of my favorite actors in the MCU right now. Well, it <laughs> Whoa, here we go! Okay. What? What? What panic? Oh, oh. Zemo, you mother trucker. <laughs> he must have had a lockpick on him somewhere. I really want that as a meme now, Zemo, you mother trucker. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Get all the gifts coming in. Bring them in. <laughs> oh, I'm all... Oh. Zemo, Ooh. you mother Do trucker. I make that as a gift, folks? Do I make that as a gift? Do it. Do it. Every time somebody mentions Mephisto, Zemo, you mother trucker. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, anytime somebody mentions Mephisto and it's not Mephisto. Definitely. There somebody we go. Oh, that's, that. a, that, we that's, a, that's a lot of serum. That's a lot that of is serum. A lot of serum. Uh, yes, it is, Zemo. <laughs> Yes, it is. That's going to be at least a dozen vials there. At least. Wait. Is Zemo going to take it? Uh-oh. Oh. oh, wait. No, because the whole, the whole thing with Zemo is he wanted to make super soldiers. Oh, wait. Didn't not in Civil War, he was like... I, I can't remember, actually. There goes my Marvel knowledge. <laughs> oh! <Hey. laughs> Out for the count. And I guarantee there's still one vial left. Of course, there, there's always one left. There's always one that's left. The thing is, is he going to take it? Because I don't think he's actually filled with the um, Super Soldier Serum. But I think still, he's just a normal guy dressed up as Captain America. With even though that, still, there's always one that's left. There's always one that it's isn't destroyed. Basically, as soon as he takes this, he goes from John Walker to U.S. agent. Uh, he keeps it for the time being. What At least I'm pretty sure, anyway, he goes uh, from John Walker to U.S. agent when he finally actually gets the real super soldier set of being destroyed. Although I'm not too sure if that happens in the comics or not. I know it's too long. <sighs> you know, when we first came together, I knew what were the chances that we'd all be assigned to the same quarter. To find people I would have never met. People I would have been taught to hate if I lived somewhere else. I thought we could change that. But now I just wish there were a dozen more of us to fight. Hey, we're still stronger than they are. We started this together and that's how we did. Can't function with them on our heels. No way around. We'd have to deal with them medical needs, Sam Wilson. It's... It's the power broken. 
play revolutionary on borrowed time. Oh, Imagine if the pair of broker was Norman Osborne. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to be Norman Osborne. But just, just that'd be cool. <laughs> Who would play him? Willem Dafoe? I don't even, okay. If Willem Dafoe came back... We had J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson in that big credit scene from Far From Home. To be fair, actually, there's something about Willem Dafoe on the set of uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. There was something about... I'm pretty sure I heard something about Willem Dafoe having involvement in No Way Home. If he resurrects his role as the Green Goblin... I would love that, genuinely. If he came back as a Green Goblin... The, I mean, No Way Home is probably just going to be going to be fan service oh, no overload Home's... that exceeds Endgame somehow. Th- oh, I, I don't know if it will exceed Endgame because Endgame. I don't well, think it the, will. The amount that was yeah. spent on the marketing for that film alone. Basically, because Endgame was like the culmination of, of eleven years of storytelling. Yeah, um, I don't think No Way Home will have that. That height, because that film was just yeah. that was I mean, heavily heightened. I mean, However, No Way Home's pretty close. They're using the same set as um, that they used for the big battle in Wakanda and the big battle in Endgame. They're using that for Spider-Man No Way Home for something we don't know, but I'm it pretty sh- sure it should hit two billion dollars without much difficulty. It should. I don't or, know if or it'll come hit two very billion. close. I think it will hit one and a half. Oh, okay. I mean, that, that, I mean, I mean, billion dollars, piece of cake. Yeah, but I say two billion dollars. I think it will hit probably, a billion Bill, Two billion dollars would be a great target for it to reach. Yeah, I don't think it's going to hit a billion. Let's go. I'm now ordering you. I don't think it's going to hit two billion. Sorry. And let's be clear: shield or no shield, the only thing you're running in here is your mouth. No. Now I had Carly, and you overstepped. He's actually I'm going to take a guess and say one and a half to 1.75. That's a rough guess than so how much it's going to hit. That's, that's probably a more realistic target now that you mention it. Yeah. Say if, it because, if it hits, I mean, two billion, it's a bonus. Yeah, because Spider Man No Way Home is strictly like Spider Man fans. Whoa, Perfect. hello. Right. Saw that. Hey, there's more of them than all here. Oh. Time's up. Right, Time's up. All oh, the eight hours. The eight hours have expired. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, so he's like Captain America. They're like, we don't care. Then we can talk this through. <laughs> You're not nomad. <laughs> you might want to fight Bucky before you tamper with the door of the The what? I think that's the Wakandan tribe, I think. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. No. <laughs> oh! 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 Don't mess with the Wakandans, dude. Yeah, do not. Don't mess with them, man. You're not going to win. <laughs> and Zemo's just sit- he's just standing there like, yeah, let's just leave them to I'm it. sorry, but who were the two at the front line of Avengers Infinity War whilst everybody was trying to get up? Oh, a constant Black Panther and Captain America. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Infinity War, yeah. Yeah, there's no way he's matching up the fire of the Wakandans. Zemo, what are you thinking? See, this is a good distraction for Zemo to leave. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Zemo's just like, he clicked. I'm just, Did he just, I'm just the door? I'm Did he seriously just lock the doors? Yeah. Roll the gift. with the predictions. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. come on! What? Don't mess with the Wakandans. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> She's Damn. like, we can have your field back now that we can actually talk. Oh, what? that was cool. That was cool. Oh. That, was cool. that was really cool. Oh, that was cool. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, oh she's a, that okay. was some nice CGI there. Ooh, okay. The way the armor moved as well it was like Stephen Wolf and uh, Justice League. Sorry, just now there's Justice League. Love it, I have to differentiate between Justice League and <laughs> Zack Snyder's Justice League. Wow. I understand why people hate his character, I get it. But I genuinely, I like his character. White Russell's basically yeah. an incredible actor. Yeah. He's managed yeah. to get people to hate him outside of the role, yeah. which is what he's trying to do. Like, yeah, exactly. So if that, anything, that makes him a great actor. That's the equivalent of somebody saying, I hate this particular wrestler, yeah. but not giving a valid reason behind it. It's like somebody saying, I hate Kate Winslet, because she wouldn't let Jack on the raft. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's cool. I like his character. Still trying to play himself off as the hero. <laughs> Battlestar, as in Battlestar Galactica? No, no, Battlestar's a psychic performance. Oh, right. But I get, I get where you, I get where you see that. Movie. He doesn't know that he has a serum, though. He's so this is like... Yeah, Hoskins doesn't know he's he has a blue going, vial of that serum. serum. He's going, I've got the serum, you're giving me more reason to take it, which is fair enough. Hello, this is Diana. Yeah, who's this? My name is Carly Morgenthau. I've seen on the news, you're the leader of the Flag Smashers. Those terrorists, right? Revolutionaries, depending on whose side you're on. Is there a reason you're calling me? I'm trying to figure out if I need to kill your brother. Uh oh. I've got the impression that he and I have some things in common. But then it turns out he's working for you and you cut in America. Why didn't you send? Who would you have chosen instead? My world doesn't matter to America. So why should I care about its mascot? I like you, Sarah. You reminds me of me. Carly, if you believe in one thing, believe this. My brother is not working for that man. It's true. I feel like it. It's true. He's not. I need to make you sound alone. I'm going to send you the coordinates to pass along. Why me? Because he needs to know that I'm serious. And I need to know that he won't betray my trust again. Otherwise, instead of meeting some here, you'll meet my grave. I'll always meet with you. Oh. To be fair, her tactics, she's got her tactics played out for the cold I delivery. I character, I guess. The Not even a bad delivery guy, like, of she... that. The cold delivery. Just... <laughs> that was good. Let's take the boys. What happened? I don't know why, but in every episode, he just feels more and more like Captain America. Yeah. Oh, here we go. 
I love Fucky as well. They're both such good characters. I love them. Here we go. Call my sister. That's how we gonna play this. I'm always in that area. I just wanted to understand you better. I see you um didn't come alone. We have to end this now. I don't want to hurt you. You're just a tool in the regime that's looking to destroy. You're not hiding behind a shield. Surely Bucky should have waited behind a little. So she yeah. thought he'd come along. At, at the very <laughs> least, waited at the doorway. The that would have least. been a bad play, I'm saying. So, like, hid somewhere, hid in the bush or something. Hello, John Walker. Hello, Mr. Walker. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> He's down. Oh, well, at least we know this cat doesn't use guns. <laughs> well, there well, we actually, no, I, actually, no, I'm not too sure if he used, like, guns before. In previous episodes. I can't remember. Um, maybe he did. Yeah, everybody was saying, oh, Captain America doesn't use guns. The Avengers. Oh, yep, like, Hoskins Captain is down. America, Captain America was holding a semi-automatic, like, <laughs> shooting down people that in, came in, like, S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh. that's it. Hoskins is down. Yep. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <coughs> Wait, where'd they go? That's great. Oh, of course. Of course. <clears throat> Without, I was like, whoa! That was good. Whoa, how quickly they can sprint! What? Has he taken the serum already off screen? He, oh my word, if he has! Oh my word, if they have! Surely you'd have that on screen, like showing him taking the super soldier serum. That would be like established. <laughs> now obviously they couldn't use real bricks for that sort of stunt yeah probably, probably polystyrene bricks and then they just uh have actual bricks in post yeah 
Fluffy Holden. <laughs> Fluffy Holden. I, yeah. Yes, folks, I did study this sort of stuff at, at, uh, at college a few years back. I, I, I do know how those sort of scenes are put together. <clears throat> well, he's back on his feet. <laughs> Whoa! Good catch. Oh. Was that more no. character development? <laughs> is that even wait? With what Sam just did, is that even legal? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! Oh, Hos Hoskins to the rescue! Oh, Hoskins is dead. <laughs> oh. I had a feeling he was going to be the first character to die. Yep, a he's a goner. Just because his character wasn't so prominent in the show. Yeah, that Yeah, that yeah. impact with that pillar, yep, yeah, that's definitely a broken neck. You needed to give US agents something to, like, fuel, fuel his character, I guess. And then he and this is the point where he just snaps. I've got a feeling this is the point where we should see him take the Super Soldier's arm or something. Oh, it's, it's got, it's got to be. Everyone else bails. He must have taken it. He must have been infused with it. <clears throat> the government must have like injected him with it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Where is she? Where's Rachel? <laughs> no. Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what oh. the hell? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Now the public's gonna see this. I am so glad I did not see that happen before watching it today. Me too, I've avoided everything, so I'm, that was wow. Yeah, now the public's gonna like see him kill a guy. And he's gonna be now branded as like a murderer, a murderer version of Captain America. Oh, that's a good shot. The there That's it a really is. Good shot. That's a really good shot. Oh no! Damn! That was not the end of the episode. Oh no! That was a good ending. That was that was good. That's made wow. me wow. That's made me want to watch Night Drinks now. That was good. And it's different music over the closing credits as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, because oh yeah. Good spot. <laughs> so Zemo's gone. He's now branded a murderer. Um he's probably really taken well, the super serum off screen. Oh yeah, he must have done. Either that or he was injected when he became Captain America. When he became the government's version of Captain America, anyway. when he became U.S. agent, because he's essentially U.S. agent now, and U.S. agent like spoilers for the comics, or spoilers possibly for the future of his character. He makes a great sacrifice. He like uh -huh. sacrifices himself to save other people, so he does actually become like a good agent. However, for the majority of it, he's a he's an absolute douche of a. He's, a, he's an absolute douche version of Captain America. But he does right. eventually like sacrifice himself for for good. So yeah. He does eventually become a good character in the yeah. comics anyway. Well, I'm pretty sure. If anybody knows more about it, leave a comment. <laughs> yeah. I was like, 
that that post that I said that 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 post that I mentioned earlier about like about this is the point where business starts to pick up. Yeah. Whew. I just hate that it's taking them four episodes because now there's only two episodes left for them yeah. to really go wild. <laughs> the next two episodes little... need to be an hour long. They need to be. I think if they were going to do it, they should have made this like eight episodes rather than six because it's taken a bit too long to actually get going. You know, like, because now, now I'm invested. Like, now I'm feeling, oh, I'm actually looking forward to next week's episode to see yeah. what happens with the US agent and see how, if Sam and Carly actually come to a resolution and, yeah. like, see if the Wakandans show back up and see what happens with Zemo's character. Yeah. Now I'm like, oh, cool, right, the cops are turning, I'm ready. Because I, like, yeah. I said that, like, the last reaction that we did, I was just kind of like, it's meh, like, it's meh, I'm not that excited. Whereas now I'm like, cool, finally, I'm actually, like, invested. There's wow. no after credit scene. I don't. Yeah, the, think. yeah. There's, there's no, there's no after credit scene. I've just checked. Nah, which is fine. I think we won't get an after credit scene till the last episode. Yeah. Last episode, I think we'll get an after credit scene. Wow. That was good. That was good. Enjoyed that. That was good. I liked that. It's finally picking up. How? <clears throat> that was. That's going to take a while to process, folks. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, right. So he's there. Like, it's, I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen with John Walker's character now in the yeah. show. Because now everybody who is all like, yay, new Captain America, they're going to be like, he's a They're, they're going to see, they're going to like, see that video and be like, what the hell did you Kind do? of like Peter, kind of like Peter Parker in No Way Home. Like, because he's, He's branded as a murderer. He's actually murdered some people, but like Peter Parker's branded as a murderer, even though he didn't. But it's yeah. just going to be interesting to see yeah, how the public is going to completely yeah, like his, turn. His, his identity's been exposed. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's, I, I'm really, really intrigued to see like how Peter Parker's going to handle everything in the next film. Like, yeah. um, I'm really intrigued to see how that goes down because I've got a feeling it's going to be the darkest Spider Man film that we've seen. I've got a feeling because he's gonna add like he's gonna have a lot to go through in the next film by the sounds of it. Like, there's, there's gonna be a lot that's gonna happen in the next film, and I don't know how, I don't know what the duration is gonna be, but for a film that big, if it's, it's really gonna, gonna, gonna it'll, add, it'll, it'll be somewhere in the region two and a half hours. I want it to be three. I want it to be three hours long because if it's gonna really? deal with so many topics and subjects like. The multiverse, Toby and Andrew coming back, no one else born, Kriv Mahmoud off, handing off to Spider Man, Spider Man dealing with the public, Spider Man now dealing with the fact that his identity has been revealed, what's on, what's going to go on with Aunt May, what's going to go on with Happy, like the big, big fight between the Sinister Six, the Selps, everything is, oh, it's just going to be mad. <coughs> but I think for that kind of film, it's going to have to be about three hours long. There's yeah. no way that you can do that much in a two-hour time span. Well, well like, like, like I say, say two and a half hours minimum. Two and a half hours minimum, yes. Because if you look at Spider-Man 3, how much was in that film? Like, yeah. I was like, I was like, you, you had like, Venom, you had it. Sandman, you had Harry Osborn as the Green Goblin, you had the dark no, the side of Peter... I was like, you see, you had, you had the dark side of Peter Parker. Yeah. Yeah, well, I say, yeah, I say, I, th- I definitely feel that looking back on it now, I mean, yes, unpopular opinion, folks. For me, Spider Man 3 is my favorite of the Maguire trilogy. I love Spider Man 3. Spider Man 2. Cringy dance Spider- scene, cringe dance scene aside, I know. <laughs> Spider Man 2, it might go Spider Man 2, then Spider Man 3, then Spider Man 1. I yeah. love Spider Man 3 so much because. It's not even, if you really, really look at it genuinely, you take out all the cringy stuff and you take out, you take out a lot. There is a good film there. There is genuinely good film for Spider Man yeah. 3. Like seeing Peter's dark side, that's cool. Fair enough, we didn't get to see the venom we wanted, but I mean, that's not Sam Raimi's fault. None of it is Sam Raimi's fault. And yeah. I, I, th- I think, because- I think a lot of that comes down to something that plagues the, uh, plagues the industry these days. 
uh, yeah. not just not just in film but in video games in general it's the studio interference oh yeah interference definitely. from the studio well, and in the case of games interference from the publishers yeah well the thing is um it came out in the news recently that um sam raimi and toby Maguire are possibly going to be doing spider-man 4 the the raimi verse is coming back basically and um Sony is in talks with Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire because Tobey Maguire is actually it's allegedly reported that uh, Tobey Maguire has been signed on for more than one film he's been signed on for like three films so he's supposed to show up in Doctor Strange 2, possibly have... Spider-Man No Way Home and then I think his last film is going to be Spider-Man, Spider-Man 4 Home. which which means, they get, which means they're going to need 4. they're going to need to bring back Kirsten Dunst they're going to need to uh, you're gonna have to bring back Kirsten Dunst. Maybe bring it back, Harry Osborne. Maybe bring back James Franco for flashbacks, or not, not yeah. even flashbacks. Have him, have him there as like a sort of like distant memory for Peter Parker. Or have they him. need a Bruce Campbell he cameo. Was, like they, they need Bruce like, Campbell there, because Sam, because Bruce, because Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Campbell's Mysterio. a long time Sam Raimi collaborator. Bruce, Bruce Campbell is Mysterio in the Raimiverse. He's mysterious. In the original Ooh. Spider-Man, in the original <laughs> Spider-Man Four, in the original Spider-Man Four that was planned before Amazing Spider-Man was even reported on, okay. within the first shot was going to be um, Spider-Man uh, locking up all of his like villains. So there was going to be the Shocker, uh, the Lizard, and Mysterio, and he was going to take off the fishbowl, and it was Bruce Campbell. So Bruce Campbell is. Mysterio so the Sinister the Six could have made an appearance in the original Spider-Man Four. The Sinister Six were going to make an original appearance. Oh they were my all going word, to be, that would have been They so were cool. all going to be in the one. They were all going to be in the one scene for the opening. It's, it was literally going to show Spider-Man solving crimes of like the Shocker, Mysterio, Scorpion, um, characters like that, and locking them away. And then um, John Malkovich was supposed to be playing the Vulture. John Malkovich was that. That, that, to play I, the that I can get behind. That and he had, on. they had Anne Hathaway, who was signed up to be uh, Felicia Hardy, Black Cat, but rather than her being Black, ah. Black Cat, she was actually going to be the Vultress. So she was going to be like, they were, he was going to change it up that way, which I don't know if, at the time, I reckon it could have worked because like Marvel and like superheroes are, no, are way bigger now and way yeah. much more of a deal. And there's way too many people that, care too much about it than they did back then people would have been like oh it's okay um but yeah there was going to be a lot happening for spider-man 4 and there were some like really cool scenes and it's a shame we didn't get it which yeah. is why i i really want us to get spider-man 4 but i know if sam raimi was to do it this time around it'd be a brand new story brand it'd be like it'd be like a brand new story we wouldn't get the original spider-man 4 that we were gonna get yeah. whereas which is kind of a good thing because like i'd love to see Peter Parker now for like 10 years later to see what Peter's been doing like Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker's been doing but I want the original I want the original oh. crew to come back I want the original I want all of the people that worked on Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3 and Spider-Man 1 to come back the exact same thing because the films are shot so perfectly oh, they're yeah, written yeah, 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 yeah. well Except Spider-Man three, but that's not their fault. That's something. Yeah, yeah I said that, that, that that's your doing humans. But the fact that you brought up the whole ten years thing, I can't. I, 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 I instantly you. went through in my head the opening to Spider-Man into the Spider Verse. All right, let's do this one last time. My name oh, is yeah, Dina Parker. Go. I was bitten by a radioactive <laughs> spider, and for ten years I've been the one and only Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure we all know the rest. Yeah, <laughs> I love you know Spider Verse. Cool? You know what would be cool is if we found out that version of Peter B. Parker who was doing the narration was Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and then, like, Tobey Maguire said at, like, the start of Spider-Man 4, oh, so do you remember when I went into another dimension? And that would tie in Spider-Man <laughs> into Spider-Man 4. And then you'd have, like... Oh! Like, you'd have... Please like, do I'd that, have, Sony, please! I would have Spider-Man 4 start off with Doctor Strange bringing him back to the Raimiverse, opening up a portal and saying, thanks very much, Peter. We really appreciate your help. So have Spider-Man 3 end off with, like, they've managed to solve it. Um, Spider-Man's now no longer a criminal. People believe in mysterious things. And what happens is um, it ends off with um, Doctor Strange opening a portal and he goes, right, are you all ready to go home now? 
and then they're just like, yep, and they each go, they all go through. The they go into their respective like, portals. Tom Holland's, Tobey Maguire's, and Andrew Garfield's, and basically it just ends with like uh, Tom Holland going. I'm ready. And they swing into the portal and it ends and then it goes da, 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 goes into the credits. So Spider-Man 4 would open up with like Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker being returned home going to take care and you have like a little goodbye. And then to, uh, sorry, yeah, then Tobey Maguire's um, gets brought through a portal and he goes they're like, oh thanks for your help. And he goes oh no problem at all. And then what happens is um, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man would swing off and then Spider-Man 4 would stop. And then that's how Spider-Man forward start. He'd basically swing and he'd be like, right, okay, I'm back there, right, okay, we've returned. And then he'd hear like a siren going off and then it would start off with him stopping a car chase and then that would lead <laughs> into Mary Jane. Classic that Spider-Man lead... shenanigans. Yeah, that would lead into Mary Jane seeing like Tobey Maguire's Peter Return Parker come dust, back home yeah. to her and like Peter's like uh, daughter uh, or son whichever they decide to go with so then you've got the introduction of Spider-Girl and she's just like what took you so long and he's just like it's a long story but I'm going <laughs> to tell you that and then uh, and then like yeah they sort of like and then it's sort of like <laughs> like cuts and she's just like so wait you went into another dimension and you helped out two other replicas of yourself and he's just like <laughs> yeah and he does that Tobey Maguire thing where he's just like that to Mary Jane it's like yeah, pretty much. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then you, find, oh, and then that, like, that's that's my ideal start up to Spider Man for it if they were to do it. So, Sam Raimi, if you're watching, please, I'll write it for you. I will do it. Please, <laughs> I can make you a good Spider Man film. And like, you don't even need to say sorry for Spider Man three. We know it's your fault. We love you, Sam yeah. Raimi. Yeah. Give us a good film. Yeah, can't wait, Doctor Strange two. Peace, y'all. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> and on that note folks that brings us to the end of uh this wow. uh the reaction to the latest episode of falcon and winter soldier holy yeah, it's straight, by the way <laughs> yeah holy smokes that yes. ending though that's gonna take a while to process but in the meantime if you enjoyed our reactions hit the thumbs up and if you want to be dream chasers like us hit the subscribe button down at the bottom click the bell to join the dream chasers notification squad so you don't miss anything that we do on this channel there's the thumbs up from the gauntlet um <laughs> ah dang it uh, but nevertheless, uh, Friday, uh, all going to plan. We'll be back on schedule for episode five, and we're going to yes. get the aftermath of that ending. I can't wait. I'm actually really excited. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. But, but in the meantime, folks, I need to head off and get the latest episode of Kingdom of Isolation recorded. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I might have to end up postponing it. Uh, but until yeah. then, uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>